Okay then guys, welcome back again to another Fox Tech video. In today's video, we're going to talk about how you can change the color of your app icons on your iPad. So if you have ever wanted to customize the look of your home screen, this video is for you. So let's just get started and explore all of the options available to you. First off, let's talk about the upcoming changes. If you're watching this video after the release of iOS 18 and iPadOS 18, then great, because according to Apple's latest keynote, these newer versions will include a dedicated feature that allows you to customize your app icons, including changing their color, tint, and style. This new feature will make the process much more intuitive and user-friendly. However, if you're using an earlier version of iPadOS, you'll need to use the Shortcuts app to change your app icons. This method involves creating a custom shortcut for each app you want to change, and then adding that shortcut to your home screen with a custom icon. It might sound a bit complicated, but it's not that big of a deal. So you start by opening the Shortcuts app on your iPad, so if you don't have it, you just get it from the App Store. Once you're in the app, tap on the plus sign in the corner to create a new shortcut. In the new shortcut screen, go and tap on Add Action, and then search for the Open App Action. Select it and then choose the app you want to customize. Next, tap on the Settings icon in the right corner of the screen, it looks like the three sliders, and then tap on Add it to the home screen. This will bring up a screen where you can customize the name and icon of the shortcut, so tap on the icon and choose a new image. You can select the photo from your gallery, or take a new photo, or choose one of the available icons. Once you've selected your new icon and named your shortcut, tap on Add in the right corner, and the custom shortcut will appear on your home screen with the icon that you chose. So you have to repeat this for every single app you have, and it's still not going to be the most intuitive option as it always has to go through the shortcut process. As I say, with iPadOS 18, it's going to be much more intuitive. The, that's the good news, right? So the process will, will be much simpler then. So if you're watching this video after the release, just make sure you update your iPad to the latest version. So yeah, it's, it should be in like September 2024. So yeah, you should know if it's already out or not. So hope you found this video useful. If it did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I'll catch you in the future.